Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Meatloaf in person. Here he is now on a rare visit to this part of the country. How are you doing, kid? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Hello, it's a pleasure to, to meet you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Uh, Gay, 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 can you just do me one thing What's before we start? I, I know I need to sit down, but yeah. can, can you just say water? Water? Yeah, water. Yeah, water. Great. Water. I love the Irish accent. I, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's great. But I was back there a while ago, and, I, and there, there was a young lady, yeah. and I kept wanting her to say water, so I kept asking for it. Can you give me some more water? water. And I just, yeah, sure. I, I, I melted the well, Irish well, accent. What way do they I'm say part, they I'm say, part Irish, you know? They say water, do they? Yes, they water. do. I That's it. Very, <laughs> listen, what happened to you? You used to be fatter. How did you lose all the weight? I beg your pardon? You used to be fatter. P-H-I-T-T-T-E-O. Oh, patter, patter. Oh, patter, patter. What happened to you? Well, um... I went through a period of uh, <laughs> injunctions for Tim Munch, which didn't, uh, they didn't want me to work. And so people, uh, very mean, nasty men, right. put a 10 month injunction on me. And I like to concentrate on things. So what I did was I concentrated on not eating for about seven months, and I lost about 90 pounds. And how? I mean, what did you not eat, and what did you eat? I ate absolutely, I ate tomatoes with mustard. <laughs> with it's a wonderful diet. You should try it, folks. I'm telling you, you can't oh, miss. And what did you lose in the ten months? How much? About ninety pounds. Did you really yeah. get away? Well, that's. One I watched way. a lot of uh, sports and yeah. ate tomatoes. And did, you, and did you take exercise during that time? Yeah, I always. I mean, I play racquetball and softball. Oh, and I see. And sleep. I see. <laughs> that's a good way to lose weight, right? Do, do I have to call you Meat Loaf throughout this interview? No, you now? can just call me Meat. Or meat you can call guys. me Mr. Loaf if you want. Where, where yeah, did you want to call me Mr. Loaf? Mr. Loaf would okay, be that's fine. Good yes, too, Mr. Yeah. Loaf. Okay, now where did the no, name you don't come have from? Then? Where did it come from? Yeah. Oh, I have a lot of stories about that, but I can actually tell you my favorite. Well, when I was in uh, when I was in school, uh, I'd hung out in the pub one night too long. And uh, uh, somebody bet me $100 that I wouldn't let the front wheel of a Volkswagen roll over my head. And I did. <laughs> so after that, they began to tell me I had meatloaf for brains. That's one of my stories. I can get a few more if you want. <laughs> you, you let a Volkswagen... Well, yeah, I knew you'd get pick up on that right, one eventually. Yeah, yeah, I knew right, you'd get yeah, on top yeah, of that right. one. How, uh, 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 yeah, well, There's a tag. Why? Why? Okay, why, yeah. For the $100. Why else? Because I was... Yeah, these, this audience knows about being in the pub too long, right? That's right. How many people have been in the pub too long in here? Come on, raise your hands. How many people out there and watching this television Hold have been up. in the pub Hold too up. long? In the pub too long. She's been in the pub too long, definitely. <laughs> have you been in the pub tonight too long, right? So you got your hundred dollars for letting the Volkswagen wheel go over I your did, head. I did. I did. I actually did that. Is that a re real story? That is a, that. That's not really how I got my name, but it's a real story. Yeah. And now, what am I crazy or what? And were were you a car park attendant then? No, no, I was playing football. But you know football players in America, when they, when they get ready to go out and warm up, what they, yeah. you know, they beat their head against walls and things and right. scream things like, yeah. get them and kill yeah. and, yeah. you know. Now, now uh, Mr. Loaf, um, you're, you're hardly, <laughs> you are hardly the archetypal, um, you know, sexy looking star. And yet I you am? Have, I'm not? I'm not you're that? Not, no, you're not. not. But yet you you're have the first person who never tell, uh, ever told me. Well, well, never mind. I sort of, I'm subtle about it. I, I just know, I know. gently to you. But um, you're, was you're not. Good too. And, um, and yet you have millions of fans uh, all across the world. I mean, what is the... What is the well, I think... Um, because I don't look like, uh, um, you know, Rod Stewart or... Uh, um, no, I don't, don't want to just... Like Rod, Stewart. Rod Stewart. I don't want to pick on Rod Stewart here. But um, that um, I think that it's sort of like Beauty and the Beast, uh, you know, King Kong, Fay Ray, um, Rocky, uh, you know, the Sylvester Stallone movie. It's like a real people. Basically, uh, well, if he can do that, so can I. And that's basically what I um, convey in the music that I do is like, instead, of, I tell stories a lot, but I basically say... Look, if I can do it, you can do it too, and just have confidence in yourself. And it's like when I was a kid, I played football. Now, I didn't have the ability that other kids did, but I had to work harder. So some people have to work harder at what they do, but they still, still can su succeed. And success is not selling a lot of records or having a TV show or anything. It's something that you can do yourself. I mean, it may be the silliest thing in the world, like baking a cake, you know, and if you do it right, you succeed in your head yourself, and so right. it's success is an inner feeling. Right, and and, Ooh, and heavy. you reckon that's not bad. Oh. That's not bad. No, oh. no, 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 no! I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Now you and you, you reckon that other people identify you who may not be the silver. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I always have women in, in my videos. I've had Cher. And she's uh, nothing to s sneeze at, you know what I mean? So um, I wouldn't dare sneeze. No, at <laughs> no, absolutely not. She like you know, anyway. So you know, it's like. Um, 
you know, guys or girls or whatever, they, they say, well, if he can do it, I can. So, I mean, that's... That's not a bad. Yeah. That's not bad. Now, you're speaking of Cher, and you've worked with some of the most beautiful women in I the have, world. You I have. have. And people have. go, how can that pat motherfucker out? <laughs> 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 How can they told that... me it was live. There was no delay. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Please forgive me. Oh boy. How beep, they... beep, 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 beep. There's no oh, beep, beep. Oh, beep. There's no beep, anyway, beep. So... It's all right. But we've heard the expression before. Don't yeah, worry. So anyway, uh... and how can that fat gentleman uh, the and stage manager have all crazy. those? No, he's not. Ears are no, no. no, he's heard it too. Don't worry. You have heard it, Tiger, haven't you? Yes, you have. You've been to America so, I mean, too. Yeah. Yeah. So this fat gentleman yeah, can succeed with those women. Yes. So um. So so what? So so. So then they always say, well, how can he? You know, how can he do that? And then they realize that they can do it too. It just goes back. But I have worked with a Cher and um, oh, a lot of uh, Meryl Streep. I've actually worked with, and uh, yeah, I did Shakespeare with Meryl Streep. Shakespeare, absolutely. Did as you like it with Meryl Streep. I've done a fellow as you like it. <laughs> you don't believe Meryl me, but I have. Street. Dost thou not know where false thou goest into the night? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. You asked me here. I mean, you know, it's was, was that Shakespeare? <laughs> no Shakespeare. Well, if it wasn't Shakespeare, it was close. He's you know? close. He's Any, now, what I want to know is, though, are women attracted to men like you? I mean, that's, I that's have no right. idea. Let's take an average woman. She is right out there. Are you Where? average? Who, who, no, who, she's who? above average. The she's lovely attracted blonde to lady up there. Yeah. yeah. What? You you find him attractive? I do. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. Why? Explain to me. I was telling my husband last night how attractive I thought he was. Seriously, on top of the pops. I don't know. See? And my husband said I was an absolute idiot. <laughs> Where's your husband? Is your husband here tonight? No. We'll talk to your husband now. No, no. But can you explain why? That's what I want to know. I you think see. it is the next door neighbor idea again that he's not. I, I don't know. I can't. You think he's just a nice fella? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are there, are there many women in your life, Mr. Loaf? Well, right now there's three. Three women in your there life. There is three women. Who are they? Uh, you want their names? Yes, please. Uh, Amanda. Amanda. Pearl and Leslie. Pearl and Leslie. And, Pearl and, and Leslie. And who are they? Well, Amanda's three, Pearl's nine, and Leslie's 29. Uh, and that's my wife and kids. Uh, his wife and children. There you are now. Good. Oh, good boy.